Hello YouTube, this is William. Welcome to a VR tag video on cups. I want to expand it into containers. Um, I think that cups kind of fall into the container portion when you're trying to get your gear to, to be very versatile. So, in my case anyway, um, the cups have basically turned into a container. And, uh, so we'll start with uh, one that I carved. It's kind of a bowl. I don't know if you want to call it a bowl or a, or a cup. But it's uh, something I carved out of uh, birch probably eight, nine years ago. And if you'll see, it's kind of a beaver if you want to see the little face there and the eyes and the legs. And you even got the little beaver tail. Um, and um, it's very crude, it's, um, it's hand carved, um, but it's something that, that I really enjoy doing and um, it's just something that I've kept that uh, all the spoons and everything that I've carved throughout my life is pretty much gone. Um, I've either let somebody have them or, or just throw them in the fire. I mean, it wasn't about the spoon, it was about the carving. But anyway, that's, I think that's kind of cool, and that's uh, my little beaver cut. All right. Um, the original set that I had, that I used the longest, I would say, is a, a guy water de bottle design. And I don't even think you can get these anymore. This is a stainless steel bottle. Um, I think it's maybe a 32 ounce or something like that. Um, but I used this one for many, 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 many years. Um, <clears throat> and I liked it because it slipped into this. This is a Stanley, one of those Stanley cups. You know, and I, I took all the stuff off of it, the handles and all this other stuff. And I put um, some holes in it. If you can see those holes right there on both sides so that those fish mouth spreaders would work and I can't find those right now but the fish mouth spreaders would work and you could hang it over a fire like a pot it also had the measurements on the side and I like that but if you've seen these you know that the, the, the lid had um, a little plastic tab on it which didn't work too well but I got a stainless steel cup from Pathfinder uh, School and it has those slots in it like that and it fits that cup just beautifully so I started using this um, with this this set because of the tab I didn't like the stainless steel cup and I'll get to the cup here in a moment um, because stainless steel is um, um, it gets a little warm and when you take a sip of, of a hot liquid, then sometimes it burns your lips. So I used a titanium cup with this set. And uh, it, uh, it just messed very well. And you've got a pot, you've got a cup, and you've got a water bottle all in there. And all three of these are containers that you can put over a fire and actually boil water or, or sterilize water or whatever you need to do. So I used this set for a very long time, all right? And it worked very, very well. I think this is the Espit. This is the Espit Titanium Cup, and I don't know the size of it. But anyway, it's the same size as the one that the Pathfinder sells in stainless. I just prefer the titanium. Then I went and I got this heavy cover. Um, canteen and cup and I've used this sparingly you can see that it's had some use uh, and it, it, it does very well I mean if you want a canteen and, a, and a, everything and it's so much lighter than the stainless steel guy bottle that uh, I mean it's noticeably lighter now if you want to pay the extra money to get the titanium because of that extra few ounces then I you know it's one of those personal choices things um, I think it's worth it. Pay once, cry once, and use it the rest of your life. I mean, you know, it's an investment. It's like anything that you pay for, it's an investment. If it's not worth the investment to you, then don't buy it. 
okay? But to me, it was worth it. I love this canteen. Uh, this canteen is in my pack now, and this one is kind of retired, okay? So I use this one quite a bit. With the, uh, the cup, it's more of a cup pot type thing. Uh, you can heat up your water for your, uh, <coughs> for your little uh, mountain house meals and all kinds of stuff in this little kit right here. But the, I find the, the one that I use the most is this Stanley Coffee Press. <laughs> this is ingenious. I love this set. Uh, it's basically a coffee press. And uh, I, I will actually make my coffee in this, heat it up, you see how black it is, I use it all the time, um, and press my coffee and drink straight out of this. I mean, that's, I don't, I don't even need another cup. I just use this. And then I have this in my pack for a pot. Okay? So, this is basically one of those luxury items that I just take with me everywhere. All right? I, you know, if I'm car camping, if whatever I'm doing, if I'm going to make coffee over a fire, and sometimes even when the electricity goes out here at the house and I have to make coffee in the mornings, then I will use this. Um, I will just set this on a propane stove and hey, we got coffee there in just a little bit. But that is the uh, my containers that I use and, and pretty much this one is the one I use all the time now. I, I just, you know, like I said, I just drink my coffee straight out of it. It's got the plastic rim, doesn't burn your lips. Hey, works beautifully. Now I do have this, it's a titanium pot that's a small pot that has a little bale on it i have this and i've used it a couple of times and it just doesn't fit my my needs but anyway these are the items that i use the most now is uh, the canteen the, the, the little pot slash cup and the stanley coffee press that right now is the best thing that i found that fits my needs all right uh so thanks uh tim for the tag uh, with Red Dog Bushcraft and I will put your video link below so that others can can see what your favorite cup is and the cups that you've used. Um, so I'm going to tag the, uh, the Michigan Woodsman. So Mike, um, let me see what kind of cups and containers you use buddy. It's a new channel. If you haven't checked his channel out then uh, go over there and check him out. I'll put a link to his uh, uh, channel also in the description box so that you can subscribe him and um, I think it's going to be a fantastic channel so uh, anyway Mike let's see what your containers are oh and since you've watched this video through the end I am going to show you what knife that I have in my neck because I know I'll get a thousand questions on it or at least one or two that is a new little mini skinner and uh, we will see what happens with this design. I don't even have a name for it. Uh, that handle is Lava Crinite, which is an acrylic handle. And I've been using this for the last uh, few days as a little neck knife. And uh, hey, made out of A2 steel. I like it. So we'll see what happens with that. But until the next one, you guys get out in the backyard getting, getting uh, build a fire. Roast wing and marshmallow. Take a child with you, get the opportunity. And uh, be sure and take plenty of damn days and once a night. Get you a pot, a container, a Stanley coffee press. Hey, you might need a cup of coffee. Catch you guys again on the next one.